Shit. Okay, there we go. So I'll wait for y'all to come in here. Ah, man, we are live tonight, people. Thanksgiving holidays are done. Back to our regularly scheduled programming with our lives Monday through Saturday, 9.15 p.m. After shows will be on the Storm Uncut, as well as some good Patreon content coming in this week. So I am super duper excited for this. Wait for y'all to come in. I always hate that damn awkward time between when you get on the folks actually come in. What's going on, MJ? We got MJ. We got Alondra. You guys are always in here first, and I love that. Miss Mystique, Tattoo Dodd. As a matter of fact, speaking of tattoos, I need to finish my damn uh, sleeve. I need to go ahead and knock that out in the next couple months. Got Tamika. Next question, Tamika. Next question, Tamika. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Look, I wanted to come and chat with y'all because it was like... Not only just to tell y'all that we live tonight and just kind of, you know, see what else y'all wanted me to talk about, but just to also like say, you know, it's Monday. This should be a motivational Monday for you. I want to encourage you to get out of bed, do your thing, get your shit together. If you, you know, kind of sluggish, you don't want to go to work. I want you to go into work with a positive attitude. I want you to meditate. I want you to do whatever you need to do to get in the headspace that you need to be in in order to win. I went into deep meditation yesterday, had that dream slash some of y'all said it wasn't really a dream it was more in between i don't know what in the hell that was but you know whatever it was what i saw you know and i, I put it on patreon for the people to know i saw peace i saw two different states of being one was dark damp cold underground one was at the beach i go into better detail in the actual video or whatever but i say all of that to say that deep meditation gave me peace and i'm here to tell y'all to be y'all motivation get your ass up and whatever you trying to get done, whatever you uh, um, are, are trying to accomplish, whatever you need to do, do it now. Get on it. Uh, love your interviews. You look faded. I am not faded. I promise I am not faded. Why they always trying to say I'm drunk? God, can a brother get up and be positive and be sober? I've had nothing but H2O, you know, H2O, ESOT. What's going on, Bubblicious? Storm just sent you a video. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Talk with, uh, talks with Shaniqua said, oh no, I called out today. I didn't want to deal with the drama. I'll be back tomorrow though. That's great. And why, and let me tell you something, cause I used to call off work. Too. Well, I take that back. I didn't call off work much, but whenever I did, because I really just didn't want to go to work and deal with whatever, use today to get your mindset ready for tomorrow like don't just sit up in bed watching netflix watching tv is really easy to do uh and your whole day go by and then you're dreading going to sleep like i want you to be excited to go in tomorrow and tackle whatever it is you need to tackle you may be nervous you may feel a little uh anxiety about it but guess what that that means you're working towards something look, look you're, you're finna hit a breakthrough push through it push through it um, I really, really needed to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's good. That's all I want y'all to know. Like, it, it hit my spirit because I needed that this past weekend. And, you know, whether you pray, meditate, whatever, I'm not here to convince you to believe in this, that, or the third. But what I am here to tell you to do is to um, get your mind together. You know, when we see these, <laughs> I need a whole day. I need to use a whole day just to prepare for another. Look, whatever you need to do, you do. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that at all. I need that encouragement. Good. God, Lee, it's cold as shit out here. <laughs> That's good. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't let nothing get... Okay. I need that motivation, too, watching YouTube. Talks with Shaniqua said, thank you, Storm. I'm pushing. I needed that. I'm working on so much. I do all those spiritual things, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Good. Absolutely. Oh, Tamika said, I have a question. What's your question, Chamrika? Uh, my supervisor always changes my time because my coworkers are always taking off. Should I say something to her about it? It's becoming a regular thing now for a month. Yeah, Tamika, if you're not a supervisor yourself or some sort of like management and they're changing your stuff because of other people, just let them know. I mean, just talk to them about it and ask if there's anything that can be done because let them know it's, it's, it's an inconvenience to you. You're showing up to work. You're on time. You want to get off, too. I've worked those jobs, too, where it's like I can't even get to like I, I can't leave. And they get an attitude with you for wanting to go home because somebody else didn't show up. And you're like, well, damn, I, I have a life, too, outside of the job. I like let me tell you something. When it comes to these jobs, once you understand this, 
you would never take anything personally that your uh that a supervisor does a job uh these jobs are literally one person shitting on another person and shitting on another person and shitting on another person it's just ridiculous um tamika said i work seven on seven off oh seven days on seven days off okay got you still though when you off your when you're expecting to be off you're expecting to be off now i look now i used to tell like my employers this look if i shouldn't expect the time to be off then just tell me that like i would rather know i just hate when i come into work and you say okay well today you're working until the eight i'm like okay cool and then 7 30 come you're like oh we need you to stay until 9 to 10 well why you didn't tell me that this morning like that's that's just me so yeah talk to him communication is everything communication can solve a lot of problems i promise you it can and a lot of us we lack in that which is why we be uh well this is why we always be a day late and a dollar short um they make you fill in right maybe they no maybe they feel like if they really tell you that you're gonna have to stay longer that your ass won't come in either all right but what else is on your mind what's going on out here in these streets I had to listen to everybody we need to talk about. We definitely talking about Cardi B's relationship with Star Brim, their friendship or whatever. I don't really call it a friendship. To me, it's been more of a bully ship the whole entire time. Like, and I'm gonna talk about it tonight, but let's be very clear. Star Brim got them hands. Like Star Brim is from them streets. Cardi is from them streets too. And Star Brim kind of took her up under her wing, but it's kind of like a, it's kind of like when you got a friend it's kind of like when you and your friend whoop ass together, but your friend can't even whoop your ass. It's a very weird dynamic. It's a very weird dynamic. Can you work on a member's playlist? Yeah, I sure can. I sure can. I would definitely look at that. Did you watch A Chance With Love? You know what? I got behind in watching that. The first couple of episodes, in my opinion, were kind of corny, but it's looking like it's getting better, so I'll, I'll go and check it out. But, um, but yeah, that's my thing with him. You know, and if you notice, Cardi B has wanted to cut Star Brim off for the longest. Star Brim is one of them friends you cannot bring in most places, especially when you start rising and you're going, a, you're A-list and you're, you know, you're doing videos with Jennifer Lopez and you're hanging around DJ Khaled and you're, you're hanging around elite people. You cannot, <laughs> I know that's an oxymoron, but you cannot have people like Star Brim around. People like Star Brim, they, they're going to find issues and things. She, you know, and it's not that Star is a bad person. It's just that. The older you get and the more you elevate, the way you handle things has to be different. The way you handle disrespect has to be different. And it's just sad. It's just, it's just sad. Star reminds me of Suge Knight or Shoddy from Treyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, low-key, they could be... They, they would be great people to have in your corner. They would be great people to, to have out here windmilling for you. But you also have to know and realize you can't windmill their ass. They will beat your... If they beat other people's ass, they will beat your ass too. If they drag other people, they would drag you too. Cardi does the same thing, right? Yeah, Cardi has done it, but believe me, Cardi has people in her ear to let her know, like, you can't, you, you, you can't do that. Star Brim got hands. I have heard stories about Star Brim. Star Brim is that type to put them cue balls in the sock. Beat your eye socket out. You do not want no smoke with that woman. You do not want no smoke with that woman. I promise you. I ain't gonna say nothing crazy about that woman because I don't want no smoke. <laughs> Shit, I'm a grown ass man. I can't handle her ass. Um, let's see. Somebody needs to. What else? What else? Did I watch the Tyson fight? Yeah, I watched the Tyson fight. But Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. going after each other literally looked at two uncles fighting at a cookout. They, I mean, it was a lot of hugging. I mean, it was just it was just bad. And why Roy Jones wore them dirty ass draws to the weigh in? Like, I, I ain't even trying to be funny. You sat there, you got Mike Tyson, they at least wore some Versace. Like, dude, couldn't nobody get no why they let him get up there with them dingy ass draws? Why did they why did they let him go out like that? I'm just trying to figure that part out. Now, for everybody talking about their bodies and saying they old, they out of shape, the men are in their 50s. And let's be real. Yo, you roll over to a man that look just like them. So stop it. Stop it. Let's see what you look like at 50. 
I don't know who told y'all, but your your skin and your your body don't stay super tight, super ripple, super ripping right forever. Just ask Nicole Murphy's neck. It does not stay that way forever. I promise you. But yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Um, we definitely gotta talk about the Darrell guy that was kissing his his boyfriend on IG, but he only sent the video to close friends. First of all, Darrell, one of your close friends ain't shit. Ain't nobody ever told you that when you do dirt, do it in the dark. But then I was doing some research, and then from what I was reading, the dude already had a sex tape out. So y'all already knew he. Y'all already knew his tea, as they would say. They already, they, they already knew his tea. Darrell Walls is an amazing singer, absolutely. And why should he have to lose his gospel singing career because he, because he, because he gay? 60% of the church is. We know we know the LGBTQIA plus is all up and through the church. Just look at the choir section. Look at the choir director. We know. Good morning, Ash. We know. I don't I don't understand. It's all kinds of whores all up and through the church. Ask Jamal Bryant. He's one of them. The man has nine kids out here. And we all acting like, uh-uh, it's okay. Wait a minute, no, it's not okay. Did y'all not do the math? Giselle Daddy said he got between six to seven baby mamas. I'm, I'm assuming he was not including Giselle in that, but let's just include Giselle in that. Let's say Giselle, it's one of the seven. So you got six other baby mamas, which means one baby per baby mama. So six plus the three you got with Giselle is at least nine. You got at least nine kids out here in the congregation, and Giselle is wondering why you ain't got no time to come around there to come to a damn photo shoot. You don't have time for that. That man has to work. That man has to work, steal, kill, destroy, embezzle, and, 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 and he got to get them ties. He got child support for almost 10 damn kids to pay because don't think they ain't got their Negro on child support. Don't think they don't. Or he takes very good care of them baby mamas so that they don't go down to the to the church because technically he can just put everything in the church's name and then he ain't got to pay you shit. So I take that back. He actually is probably pimping, that, pimping the system too because technically he can just say his income is zero because he's a charity. Everything's property of the charity. Shit. But y'all mad at him because he cause he cause he's sick. Man, please. Y'all let y'all let Daryl, Darrell, whatever, y'all let him be him. But my thing is if a sex tape was already out, if you posting videos of you kissing your boot on any kind of social media, you want that shit out. In his spirit, good morning, Azalea. In his spirit, in his spirit, he he just wanted to get it over with. He really did. He really did. You think her kids want to know her siblings? Um, uh, I mean, I don't like I don't like speaking on people's kids like that, but I'm gonna say this. I don't think I don't think they really care like that. And I don't think they really care for him. When I was a teenager, my choir director was married with a wife, and everyone knew how feminine he was. He had his boyfriend with him during choir practice every Tuesday. We already know. We we already know. We have to go, we're going to have to go back to those Sunday school songs because all these extra spirits is coming through this gospel music. Well, you know, you know, he saw the best of me. What did he see in you? No, that's Marvin Sapp. Never mind. <laughs> come so long, come so hard, come so far. He'd be like, Daryl, what you talking about? I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was talking about this journey with Christ. He was talking about something else. So long, so hard, so rough. I made it through. What you make it through? <laughs> Didn't think I could take it, but I took it. What you mean? <laughs> you didn't think you could take it all, but you took it? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you never know the strength, the strength of the snapback. What's that? Whoever said the gospel songs and the spirits coming through, facts. No, all, all spirits come through music. You just don't know what kind of spirit it is. People need to stop being so judgmental because in God's eyes, one sin is no bigger than the other. Exactly. They need to stop. Like, the, all this cherry picking is ridiculous to me. You know? It's just like, wait a minute. So, fornication is okay, but, but these gay people are a problem? Like, get the hell out of here. 
Is it weird I miss Storm's midday lives? I know I miss them too. I know on the main channel I switched things up because it was just it was getting to be too much. But uh, wasn't a real friend to do that. No, whoever blasted them out wasn't no real friends. But I got another thing to say. See, you know a lot of people got shit to say about me because I don't have a lot of friends like that. And it's it, I ain't saying that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It's just who it is naturally who I am. People don't stick around me long, and that's fine. But let me say this. It ain't none nigga out there. Nan nigga walk around with 30, 40, 50, 100,000 friends. Most of y'all ain't got five. Most people are around you. They are associates. They are meant to be there for a season. They are there for a reason. They are there to get some from you. Even if it's just your energy. Even if it's just your time because you're the only one crazy enough to answer the phone at 2 in the morning. I promise you, most people ain't got friends like that you maybe got a lucky person a lucky person has five don't laugh at my ashy hands a lucky person has five mostly i really only got one or two that's it even in groups even when you have groups of friends there's always one or two that you're closer to is always you know smaller clicks in it and a few that you could just kind of you know you could you could you know you could take a leave this is life. I don't know why people are not honest about that. I have five friends. Yeah, I, I can tell you how many I got. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And out of those five, yeah, it's a few that I'm real close to. So I'm, I'm just sitting here saying, like, most people or associates, that don't mean you got to cut everybody off and stop talking to them. That don't mean you can't hang out with them. But I believe you have to be honest about the position that every every the position and the role that every person plays in your life that comes to family and relatives too. what role do you play in your family? What position do you play in yours? If you don't like it, you can always change it. And if people can't stay and stick with you through your evolution, if it's too much, then you got to let them go because they only going to hold you back. When the universe say two people have to separate or three people have to separate or this crowd is not your crowd anymore, you better listen to the universe. You better listen to the spirit. You better listen. You, be you better listen. Some people say, mm, I ain't got friends. I, uh, I only deal with my family. Look, family can be anything. Family is any council group around you. Fam you get to make your family as an adult. The people you related to by blood are called relatives. I promise you they all ain't family. I, I, I've sat here, sat back, sat here and listened to this family member say this about that one and say this about that one and drag the other. It's like, y'all y'all niggas don't love each other because you don't even love your damn self. I'm an only child and a loner. A loner stoner. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call myself a loner stoner. I don't think I'm a stoner, but I should, there's nothing wrong with that. The world want to say it's a problem, but, you know, the world got a lot of issues. The world wants you as miserable as they ass is. The world wants you to have as much drama in your life as they damn got. Because when you got all that shit, all that shit around, you got all those spirits, all that energy. You, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's another thing I want to tell y'all today. Don't never be afraid to, to do what's best for you. Do what's best for you and make no apologies for it. It took me 40 years to make it to four and only one is a relative. I am so blessed. Yeah, country mama, you are blessed. And that's all you really need. A few people in your corner that really got your back, you you are way better off than people out here with 30 and 40 friends. We can we can even look at celebrities. Uh, Cardi B just had to get together. All those people that are at her house. I don't give a damn. Y'all dragging her for that. I'm not going to drag that girl for that. That's her business. You have who you want to have at your house. Hell, I. Because guess what? The elite, these white folks in government, they still having their get togethers. They still going to their islands. They ain't stop shit. They told you to stop what you was doing. They ain't stop nothing. Um, but even with all the people that hang around her now, you think all them people are her friends? They're using her. You think all them people was really calling her like that when she was living in a roach infested apartment? They were not. It's just you just you just gotta be honest with people. You just do. 45 and same two BFF since childhood. See, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Nope, they yes people. That's what I'm saying. They yes people. They are yes people. 
I just can't hang with too many people. Me either. Because it's fake. It gets it gets fake. You be like, oh, man, all you niggas really don't like each other. All you hustlers really don't like each other. Stop lying. You can see it. Then if y'all like me, you get at the wild, you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Like, okay, this is cool, but I'm ready. Oh, okay, I'm going to go home because, yeah, this is... Uh, Put yourself first. I learned this in my life, especially when you're going through hard times. That's when you know who's there for you. Gave birth to a preemie, to preemie twins, and no one helped. There you go. All you got is all you got is you and God anyway. So don't put nobody on a pedestal to think that you just, oh my God, I just I can't. No, you can. Because all you have is you anyway. Being a bone collector. Yeah, I am the bone, the bone collector. I am the bone collector. But the best thing about me is you hold them bones. Like, you don't... Whatever. And then they make you look like the bitter person for even questioning people's fakeness. I'm just saying. The sooner y'all realize that people are in your life for a season, and when they serve their purpose, and the Spirit tell you, you ain't got no reason to be mad. Uh, you can be the life of the party, but very few really know how you really feel. That's very true, too. Very, yeah, that's very true. That's very true. I wonder if it's just my damn package. I hope this is my fashion over, Mr. FedEx man. Wait a minute, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna put him on blast like that. Damn, I hope that's my package, though. Y'all don't understand. Fashion Nova had that Black Friday sale. I racked up. And I was able to get the mediums. I was like, yes, bitch. Get the, get the damn meat. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. What else is going on? Remember the favorite five feature? I have two. I'm telling you. I sent you something as well. Thank you, Azalea. Didn't we... We did. Oh, I think that's my fashion Nova. That's my fashion Nova. Hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. Let me see. Is he gonna require a, a signature? Hold up. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. That was my fashion over. That was my fashion over. Okay, baddies, I see you in your shmediums. Now look, 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 look. Cause I promise y'all, like when I, since we're in Fashion Nova delivery, I actually always get my packages from Fashion Nova fast. But uh, this time I did the one day shipping thing or two day shipping or whatever it is. So I paid the extra like $7, whatever it was to do that. But usually, I get it quick. I don't know why, but I usually do. We got a fashion overhaul video. Shit. I'm still waiting on them to make me a, uh, give me my little, whatever they do, partnership thing. They need to make that shit happen. Yeah, it's Christmas for Stone. Look, you know it's Christmas for me. You know it's Christmas for me. Um. Okay, y'all finna go back in here. My nose running too. Okay, hold up, y'all. I'm going to go in this house, and then I'm going to uh, talk to y'all from the bedroom. Hold on. Oh, was that not mine? Oh, no, maybe that was not mine. Oh, okay, thank you. I didn't know I heard somebody bad. I'm gonna fuck banging on the door. It's FedEx, yeah. Oh, it's open. Nah, I mean, I'm in Nova. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. I'm like, I'm gonna just finish up.
steps, I just was doing my little morning video. I told you it was freezing out there. Yeah. I told you. I was on my phone. I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all, I'm running the house. I'll see y'all. <laughs> okay. See, yeah, I'm finna get back on camera here. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all still there? Is y'all still there? Can you hear me good? Yes, that was my fashion over. Let me turn on some lights in here. Let me get this dog about this cage, too. Okay. Ugh, let's see. This room is a damn mess. Storm, we can tell where you stay by your footsteps. <laughs> um, let's see. Those are handlers. Uh, I hear you unwrapping. I sent you something that you love. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. I ordered last night from Fashion Nova, racked up for Cyber Monday. Okay, so let me open this stuff here. Well, let me not point it that way. Let's see what we got. Fashion Nova, this shit better be everything, too. Oh, yeah, the uh, Drake surgery is for the... I, look, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I want the Drake surgery. Promise you. Drake, send, send me your doctor's number, please. Please. I got on that scale today. Tell me why. Thanksgiving. I mean, y'all might have gained weight. I lost a pound. I'm, I'm just saying. I lost a pound. Y'all might have gained weight. I lost a pound. That ESOT and shit work. I'll be trying to tell you. Okay. So let me open this. Gosh. Let me open this. Where's my damn box? Where is my damn box? Don't do a storm. Hell yeah, I'm finna do it. Why not? Why not? First off, they sent me a little booklet. Make sure they got my address on it. Okay, first off, they sent me this little booklet. Look at that. Look at that. Now, you see how they got the big brother on there? Where are the medium-sized brothers? Fashion over, I am challenging you. You got you... You, you represent the husky. What about for us in between? Not the skinny, not the husky, but the in between. Why? Where are we at in this fashion over? You're messing up, damn it. You're messing up. They just want to take all my money, man. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this right here got this little like jean jacket thingy. Ooh. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Oh, that's nice. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at that. Let's see what else we got. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Got the blue jeans here with the leather. No, it ain't no damn real leather. Okay, that's going to crack in three to five business days, but we're going to work through that. Okay. And the back is, well, the back is just the back. Ugh. All right, let's see. Damn, did I get the same pair twice? I don't know. Apparently, I got another light blue pair. Another light blue pair with some paint on it. You see how I told y'all the new look is like the homeless look? But I'm not mad at it, though. I'm not mad. But that's literally the new look. I don't know what else we got. Oh, damn. All right. Am I going to the army? Oh, shit. With the suspenders? Not the suspenders. Not the suspenders. <laughs> Why they just go on my head? The suspenders. Suspenders. Not the suspenders. <laughs> but you're supposed to wear them down like that. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to have to start showing y'all my outfits after the show. All right. What else we got? Now we got... They said fireman vibes, right? Okay, we a gang member. <laughs> Apparently, we're in a gang. Ain't this like the design from um, uh, not the do rags, but like the uh, like the head scarves people be wearing and stuff. Don't try to wear this on your head, gang, gang. Y'all know damn well I can't be no gang member. I am not a thug and I am way too ticklish. Do you hear me? I am not. I ain't trying to flex on y'all, but for real. I am not a thug. And I am ticklish. I got allergies. Like, I, I can't I, I can't be no gang member. It ain't meant for me. I, you know, can't, be, can't be gang banging and you need your Allegra and your person. Uh, okay, what we got here? Uh, boom. Oh, okay. We got the acid wash. I mean, look, it, you know, it's acid wash and it kind of, kind of looks like, you know, Lexington still skeeted all over this, but you know, I just have a dirty mind as well, but okay. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that either. Thugs be ticklish too, man. I don't know. I don't, uh, being a thug ain't my thing. I, you know, I call the police. I, you know, you know, what what Karen say, if you hit me, I'ma hit the flow. I'ma <laughs> Hey, wait on the police. I ain't gonna be like Candace. Candace, you you was moving a little bit too slow. If you gonna cut a hole, you gotta you gotta cut a hole quick. See you see Candace, you weren't about that like cause instead of you were supposed to take that glass, then do that. You the you know, all the hair we pulling, she'd have come out, all her face would have been cut up. You'd have got at least had a draw. You got your edges pulled out. She got some of her pretty face cut. But you sitting there trying to hit with a good, no, but you supposed to, you supposed to hit that Mariah. And this, you got to be quicker than that. You got to be quicker than that. Why did I get so many pairs of light blue jeans? This is plain light blue, so I got plain, I got plain light blue, light blue with black leather, and then light blue with with the green. Okay, I like light blue apparently. Um. Okay. Now, oh, oh, these are fire. These are fire. Oh, what this say? It says, they, look, they made this for me, y'all. Look what it says. Don't give a fuck. It, they made it for me. They made that for me. They already know. Look at the, look at those. Look at the, look at those. Look at the, man. I love, like, those bright-ass colors. Like, I'd have been that man in the 80s because I love those loud colors that, that pop. But y'all know I'm a... I was a Mississippi pimp in a past life, so. I low-key dress like I need to audition for that show, P-Valley. Like, like I work at the Pink. Ain't that what they call it, the Pink? Ooh, we in another gang. Gang, gang, we in another gang. We in another gang, gang, gang. <laughs> I can't ever wear this shit in LA. Oh, uh, all right. Um... Uh, okay, we got a black black jean jacket that's tattered and ripped. So even as it naturally tatters, I ain't got to throw it out. Okay, look at that. Try something on for us. I don't feel like doing all that. Nah, and then I, I working out and stuff too. That ain't, mm -mm, I don't want my clothes stinking. Ooh, we got some fake. Is this fake Versace? Versace. Wait a minute. At this point, just join the purple people eaters. <laughs> Storm blood and, and crip. You messing up the game. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say you gotta wear it. You gotta, you can only wear it in certain places. Oh, 
always said, if I'm in LA and they ask me what set I rep, Jesus Christ. Look, look at the fake Versace. Now wait a minute. Let me, hold on. Let me put something together. Hold up. I want I want y'all opinion on if this is uh uh country or not. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So I already had the leggings. So now I got the leggings and the top. Is it too matchy matchy? Because I can rock this tonight. Is this too matchy matchy? Y'all let me know. Let me stand up. Is it too matchy matchy? Was it meant to be worn like this? Just let me know. I, I ain't mad at it, but y'all know I'm country. <laughs> Y'all said no, sir. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. That is not it. They said yes, very country. No, why you call them leggings? I know they, um, the fuck is he saying? Jogger, whatever the hell. Let's say the damn thing. Uh, okay, we got a mask. Apparently, Fashion Nova makes her clothes in Korea. Oh my God, no, it's giving me bad boy in 90s vibes. Okay, we got a, we got us an orange mask. Okay. Hmm. What's up? And look, a mask that actually somewhat fits my, this actually fits my face. And this was made in Korea. So y'all know I don't lost. Oh, no, I'll take that back. No, it's still a little bit too small because of the beard. Only because of the beard. But I could wear this. This looks pretty damn good, actually. I'm just saying, pretty. <laughs> I feel like if I wear this with that top, I'm gonna look like Giselle. Like that's exactly how Giselle dresses. Like just because it, well, this ain't high fashion, but just because it goes together, don't mean it should go together. Oh my god, I ain't mad. But thank you to the other person that sent me all the masks, but they were way too big. Like I don't, I don't know how big you think I am. I'm not big in person. It's it's the camera. Okay, all right. Anywho. Anywho, uh, take that, take that vibes. Okay, let's see what else we got. Did you watch Lisa Ray on Iyala Van Zandt? Yes, I did. I actually have a lot of sympathy for Lisa Ray after watching that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, I like that. You should have watched that mask first. Yeah, I should have. Pray for me. I, ooh, I like that. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like that. Mississippi pimp. Ah, I dress like somebody's daddy. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. See, this is why you shouldn't order. This is why you shouldn't, like, they say don't drink and drive. You shouldn't, like, drink and order because you don't remember what you got. Okay. I'm kind of feeling this. Now, I don't know if y'all was giving me some Freemasonry vibes right here, but that ain't none of my business. Okay. I like this. This is fun. This is fun. Fashion old. I, mm -mm. Okay, what we got? I see some green. Some more green. Oh, okay, okay, so we got these here, we got these here, okay, fashion over, ugh, Okay, so this is the top to go to that bottom. Oh, so this is okay. Don't give a f. This is the top that goes with that bottom, man. With some black shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god. With my Yeezys. Oh, this with my Yeezys. I will look just like a black ass Martian. I look like I'm from Mars. That's okay. Though. Um, we know I ain't from this planet anyway. Another mask. Okay. 
in my Mexican family, we call those types of shirts the narco shirt. <laughs> well, y'all, is there a gang with yellow? Because we, we in another gang, apparently. We're in another gang. <laughs> I'm just saying, apparently we're in another gang. That's okay, though. I'm so not mad at that. I'm so not at all. Uh, hey, we and we got more, and there's more. Ah, so I got the bottoms to match the other. Okay, so I got a lot of jogging sets, apparently. What else we got in here? Um, is this just a plain hoodie? Oh, okay, a hoodie. Yeah, y'all haven't seen hoodies before. But it's a medium. I can actually fit that. Camo mask. You bought the whole store. I love it. Um, about to really be on your light skin superpower. <laughs> yes, I'm going to look like a Power Ranger. I'm going to look like a Power Ranger. Oh, man. Do they have those on the women's side? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, to be honest. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow, okay. I like this, too. This is giving me... I ain't no sex kit now, but this is giving me some... All right. I look good in purple anyway. I look good in pretty much any color. That's no shade. I just... I, I, I do. Um, okay. Just buying men's a size down. Okay, we got some more jeans. I ain't mad at it. Look like a Prince shirt. All right, Peter Prince. He was way ahead of his time. Ooh, now I like this one. Wait a minute. This is really dope. I like this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I might wear this tonight. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. Yeah. I mean, this is dope. That's dope for sure. Um, yep, wear that with those jeans. Oh, oh, money. Oh, guess what came back? Guess what we got? See, that's why I shouldn't have lost no weight. Guess what we got? <laughs> guess what we got? Y'all already know. You already know I'm about to. I'm about to run. Damn, how fucking long are these? Damn, I'm gonna get. I'm have to get these holes tailored or some shit. No, actually, I think I can wear these with boots. Anyway. Look what we got. We got the overalls back. Y'all know how I clown in overalls. Y'all know how I clown. They're too big. No, they're actually not. They're not too big. They're too long, but I can get that tailored, though. These should be a 34. What'd they send me? Yeah, I, I'm going to put them on and see. I, they shouldn't be too big, though. Oh. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, man. Y'all know I clown the overalls. That's, that's taking it back to the Arizona days. Ugh. Okay. Oh. And that's the top to go to the, uh, the green that we saw before. So this is cool stuff like when you headed out to run errands, you want to look decent, but you want some quick to throw on. That's pretty dope. What else? Got another mask. Tie-dye. Um, damn, I ordered some white. Ooh. Ooh. I was really drunk. Oh, let's see. 
you were buying warm weather clothes and, and we getting snow. I know, I know. But I have to because the sweaters that I had just got for the winter, I, they're already too big. I can't wear them outside. They literally like, I put them on and it literally looks like, a, like I'm wearing a sweater dress. Oh, I mean, these are nice, but no, I'm not sending them back because I'd like me a pair of white pants. Too. Oh, 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 oh. Ah oh, man, okay. That's it, people. Damn. Well, y'all see how long the ticket is. Um. Yeah, yeah, they got my ass. Anywho, push that over there. Put these up here. But yeah, people. And I have a shout out, shout out to Daniel. So the paint, the white pants is iffy. Uh, I don't know, cause white pants look good, but then uh, you don't want to waste anything going on. But you know what? I'm a grown ass adult. I can eat without getting my food all over me, damn it. At least I think so. Make sure you don't donate the clothes you can't fit to the Salvation Army. I am. And in the spring, by the time I can't fit these, I'm gonna donate them again. Like yeah, I told y'all that's the bad thing about like your weight. <laughs> You allowing your weight to fluctuate and shit, it'd be like, damn, I just bought that. Now I got to send it back. You better not gain weight after that huge halter. I can't. I sure can't. Well, look, why Why you think I'm staying on my stuff? I can't. I I can't. Mm-mm. 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 Anything else, I'm going to the doctor. Give me lipo. Take take my stuff. Give me the Mariah Carey. Cut half my stomach out. I'll just wear some Spanx and then I'll just look bloated every day, but... That waist will be slim. Uh, how skinny are you trying to get? I have, I weigh 171.2 as of today. So we're down 22 pounds. So I need to lose 145. I think it's another 26. I'm bad at math. I think it's like another 26. Oh, did I just put Mariah Carey business out there? My bad. Well, another reason why Mariah Carey face be blow. I mean, we we both do have big heads too, but her face be bloated too because she eats nothing but caviar, caviar, fish, and, and champagne. And it's like it's nothing but like salt and carbs. Um, I have a question. What time are you going live tonight? Nine fifteen. You look good already. Already tw twenty six is too much. No ma'am, no ma'am. I am not a healthy. What we had this discussion before. I don't want to. I don't want to go through this again, where I have to explain. You want to be in a healthy weight range, like. Mm -mm. When I met, look, do do you want to know how much I weighed when I met y'all? Cause I didn't weigh one seventy one when I met y'all. Well, not when I came to Atlanta. So when I met most of y'all, to keep it real. Come on now. I weighed 153 when I met y'all. 153. So that was still 20 pounds less, 18 pounds less. I think it's awesome you're taking care of yourself. Just be careful you don't make it an unhealthy obsession. No, 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 I'm not. I do obsess over a lot of stuff, but no, I'm not. I'm just motivated. You didn't look that big in the beginning. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's fine. It will fit. You got to let everything come together. The body got to catch up. All the body got to catch up. You 130 now? No. 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 171.2. Uh, How tall are you doing? 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. So I can't weigh a lot. I, like, I literally can't. I can't... Um. Shit, I, I, I can't weigh a lot. Like it don't, it's not gonna look right. And I told y'all before, like a man to me, I, I guess some men wear the husky look well or the thick look. I, I, I can't be thick. I got, I got ass. So now y'all, now y'all just want me out here with with ass for days. Y'all just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, y'all just want to, y'all just want me out here with ass for days. I would like to wear my jeans too. 
Like, don't you understand when you got a big ass but a small waist, you still really can't find pants that fit? Do y'all want me out here jumping up and down to put my pants on? Is that what y'all want for me? I would like to be able just to put on my pants. Too. No, I'm not I'm not gonna do the Al Sharpton. See, that's what happens when you stay big for too long. Then you can't you know, then it's kinda like, okay, you just gotta stick with it. That, see, he stayed big for too long and then I think he went like vegan. No, he went on a liquid diet. He did the Shaka Khan. He did on a liquid diet. And then now you look at him and you be like, I don't like that. You said you was 5'8 the other week. You a lie. I ain't never been 5'8 unless I put my uh, lifts in my, uh, in my shoes. Other than that, I ain't never been 5'8. Give something to me. I skipped on Big Booty Day. It's genetic. It's genetic. Uh, I'm 5'11", 220, trying to get to 215. It's rough. Corey, right, Chris's husband be like, right, that's what I'm saying. Y'all want, want me like, but you know what, though? I didn't have hips. I didn't have hips, though. That's the thing. Thank God. But it, it, it's, just, it's just ass, like. I don't, I don't want to show y'all because they're going to make me a meme. So I'm not going to show y'all. But it's, it's, you know, it's cool now. But mm -mm, you don't want all that ass and, mm -mm, you know, be over here. <laughs> wait, wait. I'll do it for y'all. I'll do it for y'all. What did he give y'all? Well, I guess you're going to kind of see it now. He picked up them patty shoes. <laughs> they hit you with that ba 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 I said, oh, jeez. I said, wow, the way the way he hitting it, ba ba oh, oh lord. I didn't I didn't never I didn't never think he fitted into that family, but I know you fit right into that family. I, I think the requirement to write that family is be able to write that D. He got it. You, 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 you got it. He's a Kardashian. Corey Kardashian. <laughs> I lost 60 pounds over two years by working out and changing my eating habits. My son is 5'8 and only 13. Yeah, you should go into comedy. Look. Whatever God got for me, he going to bring it to me because that's what God got for me. That's what y'all, Jehovah, that's what he has for me. Uh, damn storm dropping peen in the camera now. I Stop. I did not show y'all anything. You can't see nothing in these dark gray shorts. Um, stop it, y'all. Stop. I'm a grower anyway, so I don't have nothing to really show you right now. And I just came from outside. I have to get warmed up. Um, stop. This is not OnlyFans. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. This is not OnlyFans. Anyway. <laughs> Just like, I didn't show you nothing. I definitely have to get warmed up. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know we love to stretch pants season. That's how I know women are nasty. Like, women are way more perverted than men. I promise you. Because I be like... Like, y'all are obsessed with these gray sweatpants. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I, I, not, I'm not actually a dick watcher. I didn't know. And then I'm just like, oh, that's what I'm like, oh, y'all nasty. Y'all na nasty. Um, We just more low-key about it. Yeah, we are some horn dogs. Yeah, y'all are. Y'all are for sure. Because I'm like, what is it? I did not get it. Just like I didn't get the whole Captain Hook. I didn't know what that meant. So you don't know what that... No, I don't know. No, I'm not actually... I don't know what that is. Don't send me... Don't send it to me again. It's like, I don't know. I, I didn't know. I'll be looking to see how big the... No, a lot a lot of... I learned, I learned this in college, in sexuality class. You know, 70% of us are growers. So you're not really seeing anything unless he's somewhat aroused, you know, something like that. But just walking around day to day, you you can't. That's why they tell boys, like, when they're in junior high school, don't compare yourself to others in the shower. Although, thank God, I was not a generation that had to shower with everybody. I'm trying, did we have to do that? For swimming, we had to do that, but we... 
Yeah, for swimming we did. That was it. We didn't do that for nothing else. Thank God. They let us go home. Thank God. I'm trying to shallow it on neck. Mm, 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 mm. But men be knowing what they doing when they put them on. But you be mad at your man if he do that when he go out. Because he trying to he he out there trying to uh be a thought pocket. Um when you turn the weight into muscle, you'll be good, strength. You better not be showing your stuff on the internet. I don't give a damn. Uh let's see. <laughs> I'm reading these comments now too. I'm like, uh it's because you're making the mind wonder what's under those sweats. Oh. Oh. I mean, y'all are nasty. Like, y'all look really net. Like, I didn't know women was this net. You know, it took me forever to, to realize women want sex way more than, like, even more than men do. They just want it with who they want it with, and we'll kind of take it from anybody. But I literally didn't understand that for the longest time. Uh, Let's see. My soul be happy when I see the print. Wow. Jakara. Jakara, no, what really? Men like when women wear those sundresses. Yes, you do, cause they sundress go right in the crack of y'all ass, and they be like, I be like, oh, oh. It never feels too as right when y'all get up and y'all walk away, and then y'all walk even change in it too. Like, y'all walk be changing too. It be like. You be like, she know what she doing. Stop it. It be like, she know what she's doing. Like, she know. She, <laughs> you, be like, you be like, oh. Sometimes you don't even know where y'all be hiding back there until you put on them. You be like, oh. Let's see, or, or when we pull up our jeans, yep. Why is it that men will take it from anybody? Um, I mean, I ain't saying me, but for the most part, we're just wired differently. Um, and we really don't give a damn. So you know, you you horny enough, you like, okay, this to do. You know, you have your nine PMs and you have your three AMs. Um I'm only gonna be with you at three AM. Like Waystorm, I have a question. What's your question? What's your question, Alondra? What's your question? Jasmine says she got a high butt. That's a push-up booty. It looks just like somebody pushing it up. I have a C-first policy now. I mean, and hey, I understand that too. Alondra, you got to tell me your question. No, what's your question? How come when a woman cheats on her man, he is more likely to not take her back? But when a man cheats, women are more forgiving. Society uh, programs y'all that way. We still live in a society that says that men cannot truly be held fully accountable for our sexual encounters. But you are. Like, you're held doubly accountable, and I'm only held, like, half accountable. So it's uh, it's absolutely misogyny. It's, it's the way that... I'm not going to say it's the way your brain is wired. Even though... I mean, men are wired to have multiple women like innately, but we're not in cave caves anymore. I'm not uh, beating women over the head with a club to bring her back home like that. We're not we don't live like that. So, no, society programs you that way. And uh, the male ego is very fragile and it simply can't handle that. And that's a good way to get people killed. So I wouldn't do that. Just just leave them. Um, you, you like your new dude, you know, just. Just leave the old dude, then go to the new dude. But don't, yeah, it's it's not it's not good. When men fight, it's not good. It's not good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Most men be honored, be feeling honored like another one. Uh, yeah, they do. They do. It's all about a conquer thing. It's it's, and then they get men in trouble. Then they be like, wait a minute, you cheated on your wife for the whole. Only to give with the hoe. And now the hoe wants to be your wife. So that hoe the whole time wanted that wife status. So all these people saying they hoes and they proud are not actually proud to be hoes. They just have very low self-esteem and they feel like they can get their own and they feel like they want what you have. It's it's very confusing. And they'd be like, okay, you left your wife to give it the hoe to make her a wife. 
to not deal with the same issues that you was having with your wife in the first place because ultimately the issues are within you, not the women that you sleep with. Does that make sense? Does that does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope it does. What time is it? It's 12. Yeah, does, does that make sense to y'all? Let's see. I think I got everything. Hey, Stormy Chat, what's going on, Lisa Williams? Oh, I got to put all these clothes up, and that's not going to happen today at all. Mm, lip stripe. Okay, let's see if I missed anything else. Okay, if that's it, which I think it is pretty much... I'm going to go ahead and head off of here, guys. Love you. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And I will catch you guys later.